Welcome to the Andrew Colette Show. I'm gonna beat Pokemon Sword with only shiny Pokemon. I'll track on the left how long it goes and how many encounters it takes for six different methods. It's a 1 in 4,096 chance to encounter a shiny, and I'm playing this straight from my Switch. No ROMs, no hacks, no speed up, no nothing. Totally legit shiny run. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. The starters are shiny locked in this generation. Meaning no matter how many times we restart, these little buggers just won't sparkle. So I picked Grookey for now who isn't shiny yet. However, I believe there is a fourth starter option. You see, Hop started his journey with a Wooloo, thus we shall follow suit. Unfortunately, the easiest would probably be the Squirrel, just because it appears more, but we're going to go for the Wooloo. So let, let's test this counter thing. No shiny, I can't believe it. This is rigged. Gosh dang it, I didn't want to kill these suckers. This is going to take a while. is falling off. No! <gasps> Wooloo. The Wooloo attacks me. Is this <gasps> oh, it's shiny! Oh, what the heck? Oh, we found it! Five, 576, we found it! Oh, shoot. I, I was not expecting it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, chat, for the good luck. Oh, thank you so much for sticking with the... I know we've only done 576. I've never shiny hunt... I've never attempted shiny hunting, and we found one. Well, we gotta catch it. Let's catch it. Okay, I need a uh, honey nicknames. I need nicknames chat. Please suggest nicknames Oreo. It's definitely Oreo. It's definitely Oreo. We're gonna do Oreo Yo, look at it. It sparkles look at it Who would have thought that a man doing the same thing over and over five hours would be so entertaining Wulu is evolving Bye bye, cute Oreo. Hello, big Oreo. Double stuffed Oreo. Double stuffed Oreo. Double stuffed Oreo. My favorite candle starter is Bulbasaur. I do like all of them, though. Oh, no, that's Razor Shell. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yo, Oreo hanging in there. Yeah, if they, if they used Water Gun, we would have lost. There we go, Oreo. Yeah, baby. Hey, now fly me over there, bud. Yeah, good 30 bucks for ya. Alright, time for Shiny Fletchling. Let's go. Shiny. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're gonna try this place now. Okay, let me look up Pop Bottom Desert. Alright, as we're going through the Isle of Armor DLC, they do force us to pick a starter to get the story going. So we're gonna pick Bulbasaur. And this is all part of getting our shiny starter plan. Now this Bulbasaur is shiny locked, so Bulbasaur can't be a shiny through this gift. But like I said at the beginning, Grookey's not a shiny yet. We're not going to use it though, we're not going to use it. The reason I paused the hunt to continue the Isle of Armor story was to gain the ability to fly straight to the Tower of Darkness. That way I didn't have to bike a million miles back to the desert every time I healed my dub wool. Hello everyone, hello, hello. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Oh, bubs. Oh, we got it! We got it! Oh my gosh, we got the shiny! Oh, it's here! Yo, we got it, people. Let's catch that sucker. We gotta name it. We gotta name it. Sweet. Honestly, Hot Wings is the most requested one. Very triumphant music. Look at it, Hot Wings, it's a girl. All right, let's go get that Fletchender. Hot Wings is evolving. There it is. See, I think it looks better the more it evolves. I think Talonflame looks a lot better with the shiny and Fletchender. For my third shiny, I decided I would finally get a real shiny starter. At the beginning of the game, I reset a few times to make sure I was given a female Grookey. That way, she could give birth to more Grookeys. This is also the reason why I picked up a male Bulbasaur. And finally, Fletchender's ability, Flame Body, allows the eggs to hatch twice as fast. Let the breeding commence! Hey bud, give a shiny look on the first egg maybe, on the first egg? No, you're not allowed to look at the camera. Nope, just a regular dumb Grookey. Just a regular dumb... <laughs> I did, I did reach out to you. Oh, what's 
the crap? Oh, what the? Oh. Do you all see this? I'm so freaking lucky. I had such a late reaction too. How? How? How did I get that Grookey already? How? Well, we gotta name it. All right, name suggestions in chat, everyone. Name suggestions in chat. All right, the viewers have chosen pineapple. Oh, it's evolving, sweet. It just, I just forgot that I was leveling up, so. The wacky, pineapple with wacky. We actually might lose here. I might have just lost. Actually, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 because acrobatics is actually stronger than max airstream. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh shoot, it evolves here? Oh dang. Yeah, we definitely don't need Oreo now. Ah, oh, dude, I, I love the color under under the wings. It's beautiful. Yep, Gonzo. Oh yeah, it evolves at level 35. All right, let's see shiny Rillaboom. There it is. Look at that mane. Look at that monkey mane. What is that annoying sound? Oh, wow. At this point during my run, Nintendo tweeted out that there is going to be a Summer Ghost Den event for the next three days. During this time, a five-star den would have a 2% chance of summoning a shiny chandelier. I needed to capitalize on this, but there was a problem. You can only find five-star dens once you've obtained eight gym badges. Well, let's get on with it. I really thought I was going to be grinding for fossils, but... Yeah. There we go. Two more gems till Chandelier, baby. Two more gems. All right, one more gem, then we're going to get Shiny Chandelier. Oh, 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 yeah, we win because the, the the burn. All right, good job, Hot Wings. Good job, Hot Wings. Okay, let's go. Let's go look. Let's go look for that shiny. Ah, oh, four star. You gotta be flipping kidding me. I have the premiere ball, right? Okay, okay. Let's see. If, let's see if we can get it first try, baby. Yeah. So you gotta like when I'm when I'm. So I am. Okay, that's not. Shoot. To be more effective in finding 5 star dens, I purchase a wishing star then toss it into a den. Since I activated the beam in this den, I'm able to skip days in the switch settings until a 5 star chandelure raid appears. If it's not the shiny ghost I'm looking for, I restart the game and go through the whole process again. It takes between 5 to 20 minutes every time. Oh yes! We got it! Okay. Perfect! 1 in 15. Sweet. 15th try the charm. All right, you're mine. Okay, we'll do Nightlight. So why Dracovish? Well, if as you can see, we have a grass, a fire, and I like water type. Okay, so I did some research. I took a freaking long time. Not even getting the amount of fossils I want, but I think we're good. Okay, ready, go. Okay, perfect. I sold everything else. Yeah, that seems pretty fast. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I need to keep one Dracovish, actually. I just gotta ignore all you guys. I gotta ignore my chat. I gotta ignore the chat. You all are saying hurtful things about my... Oh, whoa! Gigi, we just got it! Whoa! We got it already! How many was that? Yo, there it is. Oh, we got stuff to timer. Just over an hour. Easy peasy. Wow. I'm I'm not even surprised we've been so lucky. <laughs> nice. There he is. Oh, come here, little Dracovish. Oh, come here. Oh, he looks kind of angry. Oh, that just... That was realistic. I would not have a body left. Mr. Fish, the chat has voted. Crown Tundra Station, here we go, baby. 
Just one more shiny to catch. It has to be a legendary from the max lair. I want Rayquaza. That's the sixth Pokemon. Now, Dynamax Adventures are a little different. It's a 1 in 300 chance for a caught Pokemon from the lair to be a shiny. That sounds like great odds, but each adventure takes about 13 to 20 minutes. Nah, dang it. And you don't know if it's a shiny until after you capture it. On top of that, the NPC partners can be totally useless at times and make you lose. Yeah, but that's what you get for swaggering at the first turn, you idiot. Okay, whatever. Look at that. Almost 15 hours and only 63 encounters. So when it comes to time, it theoretically takes just as long to find a shiny. Whoa, we got a Yu-Yo. Better yet? Dang it. Oh, another shiny? What the crap? Dang it, dang it! Ah, dang it. 53 hours later. Dang, you got all your favorites sorted out, Pierre. Oh my gosh, is that shiny? I think we just got another shiny. You gotta be kidding me. Why? <laughs> 90 hours later. Oh, we got a wrong shiny. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 107 hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh, it's the wrong- No! <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose it. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <sighs> oh, two! No! <laughs> what? Oh no. <sighs> but not you! <laughs> By the way, you can only take one of the four Pokemon with you. So I took Karkul since Colossal is more competitively viable. To explain how we're getting these other shinies, each of the four have a 1 in 300 chance to be a shiny. That means the probability of just one of them being a shiny is 1 in 75 Dynamax Adventures. But I'm not getting what I want! Is that a shiny? Gosh dang you, Glalie! <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? I don't want to check the snake. Uh, <laughs> Does it even exist? Oh, it's shiny! Do I just quit? I'm so freaking lucky! Maybe bend my own rules and move on without the legendary? I'm I'm not even surprised we've been so lucky. <laughs> my viewers sure thought so. <gasps> oh, oh, we got it! Guys! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's over! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's over! Oh, it's over! Oh, time! Oh my gosh, it's over! Oh my gosh, I'm literally on the verge of tears. It's finally over. So long, 124 hours and almost 50 minutes, 515 encounters. With the black snake finally mine, there's only one obstacle left to beating the game, Champion Leon. All right, Aegis Slash, baby. Go F you. <laughs> Go F Yo, look, it, it actually looks pretty dang sick, <laughs> but I am mad at it. So, we're just gonna extreme speed. We're letting this thing die. You've caused me so much pain. This is how I'm gonna repay you for that pain. Yo, Aegis Slash going ham. There we go. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. All that pain and suffering, that's what you get. Yes, we did it. Okay, Charizard has been defeated by the crappy Crown Tundramons.
Well, there you have it. Pokemon Sword beats him with only shiny Pokemon, 155 hours and 28 minutes of shiny hunting, and 194 hours to beat the game. Remember to give the video a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. And if you ever want to watch live, check out my new YouTube live channel. There you can get the full experience of future challenges. You all have a good one. Thanks!